Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is a 100 degree day here in Texas. We are going to try and move this Dodge 1000 cab over and get it ready for transportation. Uh, we, I got the cable set up here and we're gonna try and pull it back to one of these trees and then uh, turn it and get it facing the road. So, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, we've been working on this Dodge 1000 for a little while and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and move it out and get it closer to the house. We're about 50 miles or so from my house and uh, towards Houston, so I have to drive on going towards Houston roads every time we do this and it sucks. Um, so, we're gonna get it closer. We're gonna put it out in the country where it's easier to get to and easier to work on. And so that's what uh, is going down today and I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing here. All right guys, so I got you set up here. I'm gonna show you, uh, let me show you real quick what I got my, how my setup is. So I made this pulley here a while back ago. We used it to pull trees down and I just got it tied to this tree here with the cable running through it. And we will that you guys see us pulling the truck out. Okay, so obviously that didn't work, and uh, I already put all my uh, pulley and cables up. Getting ahead of myself here, and I'm almost hitting a tree. So I gotta pull it back more, and then we can turn it sharper and try and get it around that tree right there. All right, guys, round two. I got it back, pulled back again. Uh, the wheels turned more and we're going to try and pull it out towards the road. Hey guys, okay, so it's the next day. It's uh, Father's Day, actually. Uh, my dad was uh, lucky enough to help me move the truck today. Um, so thanks to you, Dad. So uh, we got it moved, 80 something miles, 84 miles. Uh, it was a, 
it was a task for sure. Um, here's a truck. So didn't have any problems. Um, tires held up that we bought. Uh, it did start. They started leaking. Oil. Uh, I guess that's not oil. That's just uh, the PB blaster I squirted on there yesterday. Uh, didn't get any footage of me changing tires out because I didn't think you guys would want to see it. I left all the original tires on the back, and we did not have any blowouts or flats, so that is good. Uh, but um. We're going to be working on the truck. It's probably going to be uh, two weeks or so before we start working on it. Um, I've got some stuff I want to do. But we need to clean the truck out. It is uh, pretty nasty inside and smells quite bad. So we'll get it cleaned out um, to see what we're looking at here, what we got. But. Um, and then we'll start working on the motor. Uh, what, I'm gonna, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the trans out. Um, it's already halfway disconnected. The drive shaft's disconnected. So I think I'm just going to pull the trans out just to make sure that's not the problem. It's not holding because uh, I can't move it in or out of gear. So we're going to check and see if it is, you know, just we'll just take it out and see if the transmission was just stuck. And not allowing us to turn the engine over or if it's an engine problem so the transmission is quite bad so uh more than likely i i don't know if that's the the exact reason why it's not the engine not turn over but we'll we'll take it out it's easy um and i got all the tools i got an a-frame right there and i got a tractor here so it'll be a lot easier working on this stuff um, but other than that, that's going to be it for the video, you guys, today. Um, we're going to have to, going to have to clean out this side over here so I can get over here. Or move it over, maybe. But, uh, that's what we're working with, you guys. We got it moved. Uh, we can start diving in and getting more serious on the truck. Um, for you guys so I really probably wouldn't have uh, bought the truck um, and I'll let you guys know what I paid for in the upcoming videos but I probably wouldn't have bought the truck if it wasn't for you guys watching all watching the videos and liking the videos so I really appreciate you guys doing that for me um, yeah that's where it's where it's sitting for now it uh sat 30 years in one place and now it's sitting gonna sit here <laughs> hopefully not too long but uh, let me show you guys the license plate last registered in 86 oh you guys can't see it Dang. oh you guys can't see it I'm sorry but anyways, that's it you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, subscribe, like. Uh, let me know what you guys think. This uh, truck will be in some upcoming videos and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, we need to address the cylinder on the other side so I don't have to keep pulling it up. I'll probably have to pull it up with a tractor or something. but. We'll try and get that dressed. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all take it easy.